not so long ago, people thought the most advanced way to deal with the dreadfully strange members of our society was to put them away. Ladies and gentlemen, 2013 marks the 20th anniversary of Vermont closing its institute for the institution for the dreadfully strange, the Brandon Training School. This is VSA Vermont's Awareness Theater Company. We've been creating theater for 14 years, and my favorite thing is when we go into high schools and these guys get up on stage and perform their own work, and the high school students get to talk with them afterwards. Because everyone has a story, like Camille. Camille Cardinal is a woman who, when she walks into a room, she scares people if they don't know her. She's big, she's scary. But she gets on stage, and she starts lighting up, telling a story about her hamster. Afterwards, everyone wants to touch her. This is Mark Utter. His last name is Utter, U-T-T-E-R. But contrary to his name, he is unable to say what he's thinking. He was given a diagnosis of mental retardation when he was a kid, but probably is somewhere on the, on the autism spectrum. He says, when I was young, I was moored in an inaccessible sea. I was forever wishing people would realize that I was thinking and wanting people to know I am in here. About 15 years ago, Mark was introduced to an alternative form of communication called supported typing by Pascal Chang, who's a communication specialist at Howard Center Developmental Services. He's also one of the stars of the movie Wretches and Jabberers, and then the poster's up there on the wall. Supported typing works like this. A trained facilitator sits next to Mark, like me, and puts their hand on some place on his arm. I put my hand on his elbow. And this allows him to focus so he can, and he says this takes a lot of concentration, slowly type out what he's thinking. About eight years ago, Mark started to come to my office to work on a theater project that would tell his story. Now, I could say I've logged about a thousand hours sitting next to Mark, watching his words slowly come out as he writes this story and starts managing this project. And um, so we have people come in to, to work on this project with us. And they sit down at the computer with us. They um, ask him a question. And then he slowly types. And they see how slow this is. And I know they're thinking, where is the patience and interest coming for this woman who sat here for so long? Well, I'd like to introduce you to the men I grew up with. That's my grandfather down at the end, my mother's father. He's got the yellow carnation on his coat. And these men are all deaf. And when they were growing up, they were actually called deaf and dumb. And they went to the Rochester School for the Deaf. At that school, they believed that the best way for their kids to learn English well was to fingerspell everything. So they didn't do any sign language. They used the manual alphabet. And this was actually called the Rochester Method. My grandfather was notorious for being the fastest fingerspeller this side of the Mississippi. <laughs> and as a kid, I learned how to fingerspell. And fingerspelling was really easy. It's easy to talk with it, but it's really hard to understand it. And you have to you employ a lot of concentration. And I did this with my grandfather, and it was totally worth it because he had a lot to tell me. At the same time, I would see when my grandfather was out in the community and not with other deaf people, and Mark experiences this a lot too, where people don't know how to deal with him. My grandfather made a lot of noises and sounded different and gestures, and people would kind of close down, and I knew they were missing something. So it gives me great pleasure to say that this eight-year project has resulted in a movie called I Am In Here, a view of my daily life with good suggestions from my intelligent mind. And we're premiering it on March 16th at the Main Street Landing for the Performing Arts at 7 p.m. This movie takes you through a day in Mark's life 
where he experiences a lot of communication obstacles, like this one, in which this guy is getting increasingly frustrated with Mark over a little misunderstanding. At that point, we hear a buzzer, and then we're transported into Mark's mind, which he says, because he hung out in it and entertained himself in it for like 30 years, is a pretty fascinating place. And in this mind, he has created a character in, in the movie who can say what he's thinking. And this character goes out into the world, and when he gets there, everything gets better. And um, I hope you guys recognize this guy. He's Paul Schnabel. He performed a stellar performance of Shakespeare's Richard III down in Middlebury. And he represents one of many people who have joined us in this project to give us their expertise and skills. So I Am In Here is a 30-minute film. We um, will we would ideally like to follow it always with a question and answer period with Mark. He's become a pretty amazing speaker, and he loves, not speaking, but typing, he loves to talk about communication. So definitely think about if you'd like to have us come and bring the movie in conversation. We're filmmakers, so we're going to now say we don't have enough money to finish the film, so you can also join us in our latest effort, which is a bowl -a thon at Champlain Lanes where um, we filmed one of the places. And check our website, it's March 10th, and um, we're gonna have a lot of fun. And I'll close with Mark's words. Now that Vermont has closed its institution, society is still adjusting. The task at hand is for everyone to surrender their wishes for perfection and embrace our different ways of being human. Thank you.